you know, they say never say never, but I feel like that there are some supplements that I'm going to be taking for the rest of my life. And in this video, I'm going to uncover these supplements. It's showtime. So first of all, I believe that supplementation should be done to primarily cover some deficiencies or to gain some compounds in certain amounts that you wouldn't otherwise get from dietary sources. So there are some compounds that you really can't get in adequate amounts to get the efficacious dose or effect just from dietary sources or some other sources. So you need to kind of supplement them. And here's the list of five supplements that based on the evidence and based on the effects that they have, I believe I will be taking pretty much regularly for the rest of my life. Number one is glycine and NAC. Obviously glycine and NAC are two different supplements, but the combination of glycine and NAC or Glynac has been found to have some very beneficial effects in slowing down the hallmarks of aging in humans in multiple human clinical trials. The Glynac combo works primarily through increasing your glutathione levels, which then has a positive systemic effect on pretty much all systems of your body, starting with reducing blood pressure, reducing inflammation, improving immune system function and improving metabolic profile. Now, most of the studies done in Glynac have been done on the elderly population, meaning that the older you get, the lower your glutathione levels are and the more benefits you're going to get from raising your glutathione levels with Glynac. Now, I'm still very young. I don't necessarily need to boost my glutathione levels because my glutathione levels are relatively high naturally already. But when it comes to glycine, at least, then there are many other benefits that you can get. Glycine helps to support collagen synthesis that does go down with age as well. Glycine helps with inflammation. Glycine helps to balance methionine and homocysteine. So you can get benefits from glycine at any age. Now, how much glycine do you need? I've made many videos about it and it's very hard to get the optimal amount of glycine from just dietary sources. Your requirement for glycine is around 12 to 36 or even more grams per day. Unless you're literally eating pork rinds out of the bag, which I think will end up giving you too many calories, then you're really not getting that much glycine from your dietary sources. That's why I think that adding some glycine as a supplement is pretty much beneficial for any age and in any situation. And the second supplement is collagen. Like I said, collagen levels do decrease with age quite rapidly, around 8 to 10% per decade. The reason I add specifically a collagen supplement is that we have clinical trials in humans showing that oral collagen peptide supplementation reduces skin wrinkles and slows down the speed of skin aging. We don't have any studies showing that increasing your total protein intake or taking like a specific other protein supplement would be superior to skin aging compared to collagen peptides. The reason has to do with the fact that collagen peptides are small enough that they are more bioavailable to the skin and they're going to have a bigger biological effect on your skin directly. Collagen is also vital for your arteries, your joints, and other parts of your body. Your body is made of 30% collagen. The third supplement is going to be glucosamine because of similar reasons. Glucosamine supports cartilage and joints. Cartilage is pretty much the rubber that supports your joints and prevents the joints and bones from rubbing against each other. Insufficient cartilage is what causes the pain in your knees and bones. Glucosamine in larger doses has been found to reduce osteoarthritic pain, but the key here is the larger dose. Of course, I don't have any osteoarthritis or osteoporosis or any joint pain at my age. But the thing is that I never want to be starting to catch up on trying to support my cartilage. If you already feel cartilage pain and joint pain, then it's pretty much too late. You don't want to be playing catch up when it comes to your skin collagen content, nor your cartilage. We also have a few studies showing that glucosamine use is associated with reduced mortality and reduced cardiovascular disease mortality, primarily due to the anti-inflammatory effects. So my rationale with glucosamine is that it's first of all, it's very safe, it's very cheap, and it also has a preventive effect on osteoarthritic pain. And even if you are, you know, let's say getting older, then it, your joint function or cartilage isn't going to get better with age. You see actually the decline in your cartilage and the joint function with age. So my rationale is that maintaining glucosamine intake even in my youth and maintaining it pretty much later in my life as well is going to have some protective and preventive effects in terms of joint pain later in my life. And the last supplement on the list is going to be melatonin. I use melatonin on and off, not because I need to improve my sleep quality. I sleep very good. My sleep quality is quite high. But the reason I microdose melatonin every now and then has to do with the fact that melatonin is one of the most powerful antioxidants in the body. Melatonin has very powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. 
and it also regulates different longevity pathways inside the body. Of course, you do want to make sure that you produce a lot of natural melatonin by blocking out blue light and not eating too close to bedtime. But microdosing melatonin as a supplement, I believe, will also have some longevity benefits by regulating your metabolic pathways and having these antioxidant effects. Now, the issue is that the older you get, the lower your melatonin levels naturally become. You start to produce significantly less melatonin the older you get. This is going to also reduce the total amount of sleep you get. The less melatonin you produce, the older you get, the worse your sleep quality is going to get and the faster you're going to age because of not getting enough deep sleep. So I believe that in the elderly, supplementing melatonin is actually one of the most important like longevity supplements that you could take because it's literally going to make up for the loss of melatonin that happens with age. So here is the list of the five supplements that I'm pretty much going to take for the rest of my life. I believe that there is sufficient evidence to suggest that these supplements have benefits, that they're safe and that they're safe to take long term. These supplements have little to no side effects, but they have many benefits in terms of actually covering multiple systems inside your body, especially in relation to your speed of aging. But do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.